Okay, guys, I am back again to keep you updated with the breaking trending news, what is going on in Nigeria. So wherever you are, good morning, uh, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on your location at this time of the day. Uh, let me use this opportunity and also wish you guys a happy new month. Today is 1st December 2021, um, a day we have never seen before and a day we will never see again. So happy new month once again. Okay, you know me, I am always saying it the way I see it. You can see from the headline there, Namdi Kanu's family blasts Oji Kalu after visit at DSS. All right, guys, um, I will give you more details on this. But please, before then, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your bell notification so you get updated whenever I publish a new update news. Basically, this is what we do here. We give you trending, breaking news, what is going on in nigeria so uh, without wasting much of your time the family of uh, mazi namdikan who is uh, currently detained by the dss has slammed senator oji kalu for his visit okay uh, to mazi namdikan the leader of ipob so this is not a new story we um i updated you guys that oji kalu visited namdikan so Nobody actually know the purpose if it's political or whatsoever. But um, I will give you my own uh, opinion. Okay, but uh, let me quickly give you the story. So Namdi Kanu's younger brother, Prince Emmanuel Kanu, who spoke on their behalf, on behalf of the family, questioned the senator's purpose. He warned Kalu against unnecessary advertising his visit to their brother. Okay probably for political gain. So Emmanuel also expressed uh, the family's wrath and disappointment over what they call confusing, incoherent, and uncomplimentary remark. He questioned what the senator meant by Kanu's insane amount of people rooting for his release. So in his word, in quote, he said, what does Senator Jikalu want to achieve by those confusing and uh, this uh, by by those confusing and remark is he saying that millions of followers of namdi kanu who feel um disenchanted by the protracted and provocative marginalization and injustice perpetrated against biafrans by the nigerian authority are insane who is kalu working for mozi advertised his visit to our brother if he thinks he has any solution to offer, can't he walk from behind the scene? Must he make a political gain of every issue? We are highly disappointed by his incoherent utterances. He must understand that our brother is not being persecuted because he stole or committed any crime. His only crime, if at all it's a crime, is asking for the freedom of the oppressed people of Biafra. Oji Kalu and his type are the reason the agitation for self-determination by our people is unending. How can he be trusted by the people? We have not, forget, we have not forgotten his role in 2017 when our brother was in Koje prison. What is his mission? Is it for, is it for or against Namdi Kanu? By his utterances, it is clear that he is no solution but part of the problem, part of the problem of our people. He shouldn't forget that history will judge him for all his actions and inactions. In case Senator Kalu doesn't know, real Igbo leaders are working behind the scene to bring about a solution to the problem of our people. They don't make noise over it. So that is... um. Uh, the statement from Imandu Kanu, the younger brother to um, IPOB leader Mazi Namdi Kanu, okay, um, questioning the purpose, the motive of Senator Juzo Kalu uh, visit to Mazi Namdi Kanu in the um, DSS custody at Abuja. Okay, guys, um, that is the update I have for you. And then um, I really don't know what to say because nobody knows the purpose of Juzo Kalu's visit to Namdi Kanu, okay. Um, was this sent or is it for political purpose? Of recent, of um, against 2023, of recent, uh, there have been a lot of visit, consultation, Ojuzokalu visiting Tinibu, uh, some um, 
uh, um, political big week visiting him in Abuja houses and so on. So I really don't know if they are planning to give Audrey Zokalu a uh, presidency in 2023. Like, seriously, I, I don't know, but let me not say I am not sure, okay? You know, we are talking about if the North will hand over power to the East or to the Southwest. Nobody knows for now. But Audrey Zokalu has been underground, has been doing underground campaign as we know so far so good. And then um, it could be political, but yet the very big question, um, I was thinking about it, that if the DSS do not allow people to visit Namdekano without court order and so on, how did they allow or why did they allow Audrey Zokalu to visit Namdekano? I mean, looking at this squarely, it is only the president or a representative I think um, from Ibera, they said um, that um, uh, um, coming from Interpol. Interpol said, um, as in Interpol person, okay, uh, personnel said it is only the president or a representative that have the right to visit a high detainee, okay, in DSS facility. I mean, how did Audrey Zokalu without court order? and also administrative order. I mean, he broke the protocol, the court order, the administrative order to visit Namdekan. Was he sent? That is a very big question. Nobody seems to know. Okay, so this is my own personal opinion, but let me know what you think. Is it political or Audrey Zokalu was sent to meet Namdekan, maybe for negotiation whatsoever? I really don't know. Okay, but however, let me know what you guys think. See you in another update.